G'day everyone, welcome to Self Reliance Australia. Just a quick video this week, I'm doing a running repair on the Husqvarna rider mower. Uh, it's just one of those things I had to do before I could go out and use it on the weekend. But also in the video I share, like it's just a really cool idea of how to store all those loose and odd screws that you collect over the years, which is far better than just using a tin or a jar sitting on your bench top. Look, this is something that my dad made and he recycled a beautiful timber box to do it. And look, it's come up a treat. Uh, and look, I use it a lot. I go to this particular box to find bits and pieces on a fairly regular basis. So I'll share that as well. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. So I've got a quick repair on the Husky to do before I go out and mow today. The top of the armrest has come off. You can have a look at the other side. This is what it should look like, reasonably smooth. Um, it's only held in with a couple of screws. It does have a block there, which has clearly disappeared somewhere out in the paddock. Um, so I'm going to assume that the screws have just worked their way loose and fallen off. So I now need to go to my screw bin and see if there's any screws that will fit that. And it'll just be a matter of putting them in. So this is actually something I inherited from my dad. He's got an old wine box, put a couple of leather straps in, but then he's made these compartments inside. So pretty cool way to recycle a nice timber box. But having a look quickly through here, I can't see anything. It's gonna be close, that one might be. Um, yeah, so that's the type of stuff that he would do. Just recycle as much as he could. And like, that's a great little box, especially for holding loose screws. Look, I found a couple of random screws there. Picked the longer one to go at the back and the shorter one at the front, just because of the depth of the hole. Um, and I can now see why there's a, a block um, on that particular other side as well so it's probably to do with the length of the screws so we'll screw them on and we should be on our way There you go, another job done. Wasn't a big job in the end. It was only really a couple of minutes, um, but getting the, the right screw length became important uh, in the end of it. But anyway, look, if you enjoyed that, please give us the, the big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe as well. Always appreciate that and it helps the channel to grow as well. Look, if you did enjoy it, please leave your comments below. Look, I do read all the comments and reply to all the comments that come in. And so thank you very much to everyone that sends those through. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you then.